All right, man, let's uh, let's keep it going with this Attitude Era section of this mode. We go back to this timeline menu. Is that Batista's theme? That is indeed a Batista's theme. <clears throat> I'm not going to do the yeah part because I don't have the fucking lung capacity to do it. And plus, I don't want to yell yeah at two in the morning. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get to the actual good part of the song. Well, I mean, the whole song is the good part of the song, but we'll get to the part that I can actually kind of meme. Here we go. Hold on in a second right here. You know what I'm saying? We got to meme Batista's music when it comes on, you know? <clears throat> I walk for miles inside this pit of danger. A place where no one follows me. I walk alone. All right, man. WrestleMania 2000. I, I like how they call it WrestleMania 16 there in the description. Uh, when really all like when they were um, like the logo there obviously says WrestleMania 2000. Um, to to any of any, any of my viewers who would have been watching wrestling at the time, um, were they advertising it on the show? Like was commentary and the wrestlers saying 16 or were they saying 2000 or a combination of both? I'm actually genuinely curious. Let's see if this one has a video package. I mean, a McMahon in every corner should probably have a video package. Yes, it does. All right, cool. Uh, please sponsor me, PC, once again. Um. <clears throat> All right. I love how they used um, footage of Raw from like 2002 or 2003 or even 2004 potentially. That's also... Um, this is all like stuff from in the 2000s. This wouldn't have been an actual part of the promo package. I don't know why they're using future footage for a retroactive thing. Ew. Damn, dude, McFoley got fired, man. My boy Mickles. Is that Linda speaking? Is that Linda McMahon speaking? That is Linda McMahon speaking. Before she uh, went into politics and then was like, hey, everything I've done in wrestling, just ignore that. <clears throat> Alright. Look at that right there. I honestly, man, like I'm sure the Attitude Era was cool and all that to live through live, and like looking back, it looks awesome. Um, but I mean, like Big Show in the main event of WrestleMania in 2000? Are you fucking kidding me? Who fucking greenlit that idea? You know what I mean? And like that's not to like I honestly, man, I'm not a big Big Show fan. You know what I mean? I think I think people might know that from now. I don't hate the guy. I just don't think he should have gotten the things that he gotten in in wrestling. You know what I mean? I think maybe one title reign ever would have been okay, sure. But like he he was never doing anything in his career for me personally that made me think oh man i would love for him to get a title run in any division mid card or main event like there was nothing he ever did that made me think like oh yeah that's a main event or put the title on him but they always did and i don't know maybe it's because he was a company guy or something like that maybe it's because he was reliable i don't know what it was but when you have a guy like big show i think they should just be an attraction on the roster it's the same reason why i think braun Strowman should never have a title because he's just he's <sighs> Braun's not good enough to have a title, man. Just personally speaking, he's not the complete package to have a title. It's hard to be the the complete package when you're that size. So it's hard to be worthy of that main event, you know what I mean, when you're that size, just because you're not going to have um, the things in ring to be able to put on incredible matches. You can put on decent matches with the big guy, small guy dynamic. Um, the, the David vs. Goliath shit can be really good. But if you're like, like, see, with this image right here on the screen, Rock and Big Show, a Rock and Big Show match would be okay at best because even though rock was good and like big show's fine as a big man worker a big man worker who's solely a big man worker and can't be like a like a like a Brody Lee for example he's a big man worker that can have incredible matches because he could when he was still alive obviously um he could fucking go brother he could go with the best of them big show can't big show is just a limited big guy worker so he's good for the David Goliath shit which is okay but when you put him in that main event it just lacks something for me personally as a as a fan so um i never really i'm i'm just upset that he had so many like main event 
pushes and stuff like that when in my opinion I, I don't think he really fits there um and especially in a main event in the attitude era of a wrestlemania like holy fuck but anyways uh little little uh, tangent aside triple h versus the rock versus the big show versus mick foley april 2nd 2000 anaheim california i'm assuming is CA, it would have to be WWF still, I believe, championship at the time. Uh, Fatal four way elimination. Okay, complete the historical objectives and win. Eliminate Big Show, hidden, 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 hidden. Okay, at the 2000 Royal Rumble, The Rock eliminated Big Show, winning the Rumble match to earn a shot at the WWF championship at WrestleMania 6. Team. The same night, Triple H defeated Chris, uh, uh, not Chris, Cactus Jack in a brutal street fight to retain his WWF championship. The next month, at No Way Out, Big Show defeated The Rock to gain entry into the WWF Championship match at WrestleMania. Later that night, Triple H defeated Cactus Jack in a Hell in a Cell match to retain the WWF Championship. Per the match stipulations, Mick Foley was forced to retire. Uh, sorry, hold on. Big Show defeated The Rock to gain entry at No Way Out. Jesus, they had him win a match against Rock? There had to have been interference, right? You didn't put over Big Show clean over Rock in fucking 2000, did you? Holy fuck, it better not have been clean. Weeks later, was there ever a clean finish in the Attitude Era? Hold on, better question. Was, was there ever a clean finish in the Attitude Era? Weeks later, Triple H retained his title against both The Rock and Big Show. Linda McMahon would announce that Triple H would... Why would why would you give The Rock a title match before Mania when he has a title match at Mania? Or hold on, did Big Show... They both have it... What the fuck are you... What? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck is that? Bi- Hop- so, mm, mm, ooh, ah, ooh, the, the fucking, um, I'm having a stroke here. Big Show and Rock both have a championship match at Mania, right? Triple threat, I'm assuming now, because it said Big Show got himself inserted. Are they saying they gave away the triple threat on TV, or are they saying Triple H beat The Rock and then Big Show in, in you know, consequent, consequent weeks? Either way, that's garbage build. Holy fuck, that's garbage build. Holy fuck, that's... Brother, Lynn McMahon would announce that Triple H would defend his title in a fatal four-way match at WrestleMania 16 against not only The Rock and Big Show, but also against the man he forced into retirement, Mick Foley. Oh my fucking God, that's... That build sounds like garbage, brother. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Holy fuck. Holy shit. Was 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 Austin? Was this when Austin had his fucking injury and he got written off because they did the whole thing where they advertised him for like a week, knowing that he wouldn't be able to compete at a pay per view? By the way, at a pay per view, it's one thing announcing somebody for like a SmackDown and then having them get taken out beyond backstage to like not have the match or like have them cower out and cut a promo instead. Like that's one thing because SmackDown's free TV. Um, or is it? Well, you know, you know what I mean. Um, so or, or Raw, SmackDown or Raw. But I mean, like, advertising somebody for a pay-per-view, for a pay-per-view in the 90s or the 2000s, when, like, streaming wasn't really the thing, you know what I mean? Like, you couldn't just, like, hop on, you know, Reddit or something and just find a stream to anything. Ew, his character model's disgusting. What is that gold chain? Are you fucking auditioning for The Sopranos? The fuck are you wearing? You look like a fucking hooker with a gold chain with those fucking booty shorts and that fucking tank top. Man, what the fuck is this dude wearing? Holy shit. They let him go out like that? Fuck me. Um... What was I saying? Oh yeah, so advertising somebody for a pay-per-view in the 90s and 2000s when people literally just had to buy it and people were buying it because the product was good. Advertising somebody for that even though you know they will not be cleared to compete eight days prior and then writing them off backstage at the pay-per-view. That's dirty. That's fucking dirty, my guy. That is fucking dirty. Holy fuck. That is dirty, man. I can't believe they did that. Just do the fucking run over angle on, like, the go home raw. And then, like, you know what I mean? Like, holy shit. What the rock is cooking. They wait, they build rock at 275. What the fuck? Wallahi, they're fucking, they are fucking challenged. They are mathematically, visually, fucking, fucking, 
they are challenged in some way if they are fucking billing The Rock in the 90s uh, at 275. The Rock now? Fuck yeah, that's believable. He's probably billed at 300 now, honestly, because dude's a fucking just fucking meat house. But like, Rock in the 90s was skinny, man. He was skinny. Look at his build. Look at his character model, man. This character model is exaggerated. He was skinny. Holy shit, 275 my ass. Holy fuck. Jesus, man. They build people fucking ridiculous in the 90s. Holy shit, man. Holy shit. Let's drink some of this PC to calm down. Please sponsor me. Oh, is this my time? Oh, this is my time, dude. Hell yeah. I mean, he's coming out last. That's a good touch. The champion coming out last. I like that. Don't listen to anybody. Tell me who or what to be. Not gonna be the game, buddy. I don't know the fucking lyrics. I don't know the lyrics to this. I just know uh, at some point, I think near the end, he says, Can somebody tell me who's sleeping with who? I know that. And then uh, hit me with that Triple H. That's a good one. That's a good one at the beginning of the song. I mean, it's a banger theme, though. I like the, uh, I like the color, you know, um, um, how it's like cycling through the colors. I like that. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Uh, it's a shame that they had to use a fucking... <laughs> a fucking, like, 2010s um, model of Triple H. Um, obviously, the attire, they would have gone back and taken his, you know, Attitude Era attire from, from, from WrestleMania um, or something like that. But, like, the build, the character model is literally just his current day at the time. So, what, 2013 build... Um, actually, no, 2013, he would have uh, shaved his head by then, no? So it would have been, like, literally, like, 2010. I feel like this is a Smack Never Saw 2011 build. I feel like they just copy and pasted it for a few years. Um, maybe even his 2010 build, honestly. But, um, yeah, it sucks that they didn't actually go back and make, like, a little bit leaner... Uh, face and a little bit different hair and stuff for Triple H, you know what I mean? That would have been uh, a nice touch, but uh, that's not what they did, unfortunately. So, um, yeah, probably just wouldn't have been worth their time for the one match, you know what I mean? So, that makes sense, I guess, but... Yeah, man, I mean, he, he's going to be in a few other matches, I'd assume, um, from the, you know, early 2000s here. <clears throat> All right, man, let's see. We have to eliminate the Big Show first, who is a mix of a hooker who is, you know, auditioning for The Sopranos uh, with his fucking attire. Jesus. Um, all right, Big Show. All right, Big Show. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. This is just going to be a straight-up match, isn't it? Um, I like how the arena looks. The arena looks so open back there, you know what I mean? Um, it, like, it's got, like, you can see the curtains, the doors to, like, the, the backstage. Are they just waiting to fuck up Big Show, or are they waiting to fuck me up? No, everybody's fucking up Big Show because the objective is to eliminate him. Thank fuck. Thank fuck. Ooh, Rock and Sock Connection putting in that work. Putting in that work. How do I, uh... Bro, if everybody's just gonna aggro him, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, fuck him up. Fuck him up. Yeah, Rock and Sock. Yeah, Rock and Sock, you you guys fuck him up, and I'll just taunt so I can get some shit out here. You know what I mean? I'll just taunt. They can just two-on-one him. I'm gonna get that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, suck it. Let's get ready to suck it. Um, and then let's get you with a big suck it right there. Wow, Triple H's fucking shit is very high. His, his like, charisma or momentum uh, rating, whatever it is. My turn, man. Let me, let me, uh, let me, uh, let me, let me get him with a signature, brother. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. And, okay, I mean, you can pin him off that. Yeah, that's cool. Unless I fail for, like, somebody else doing it. Rock, can you fuck off, man? I'm not trying to fight you. I'm trying to fight Big Show. <laughs> Rock's just, like, attacked Big Show. So he attacked, uh, Mick by accident. 
Ooh, there we go. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Can I pick him up, man? Do they have like a queue ahead of me? Holy fuck. All right, now there, this is a clusterfuck, man. Here we go, here we go, here we, here we go. Here we go. I got, I got fucking interrupted. Here we go. There you go. They're actually fighting each other now, or are they just like chilling? Oh, they actually turn on each other. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Did he just rock bottom him? No, but my pin first. Why did you count their pin first? I pinned f What? Jesus, fuck. Grapple the rock near the announce table. Okay. <clears throat> I couldn't break that up. That's unfortunate. Fuck your fucking knees, brother. Fuck your knees, bitch. Is he just going out there for me? That's dope. I like that. Fuck you, Mick. Oh, did I reverse his finisher? I guess I did, man. I guess I did. Whatever his finisher may be, I guess I did. <laughs> Look at fucking Big Show just walking back there. <laughs> Look at Big Show just walking back there. He picked his ass on his way out. He scratched his ass. All right, Rock. You want some of this, man? I'll come out there. I'll come out there. I'll come out there for you. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. There we go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, is Mick gonna jump? Is Mick gonna jump? Oh, fuck yeah. I mean, not for his body. For his body, it's a big fuck no. His body was probably like, don't do this to us, man. You've already put us through enough, Mick. Mick, don't do it. But I mean, like, for the fans, it's a fuck yeah. Does he actually connect or... He does... Oh. That's his elbow, man. That would have hurt. That would have genuinely just fucking hurt. Uh, eliminate Mick Foley. All right, Mickles. All right, Mick. Why are you... Why are you getting up, Rock? Just let me eliminate Mick Foley. Rock. Rock, I am not your enemy here. Okay? Okay? Fucking listen, man. Leave me alone. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Now it's a two-on-one against me? No, Mick Foley wants some of Rock's ass. Mick Foley wants some of Rock's ass. Rock wants some of my ass. And I want some of fucking Mick Foley's ass. So it's just a fucking ass-chasing fucking human centipede situation that we got on right now. No, now Mick Foley wants some of my ass. So now it's just, uh, it's, it's like a fucking mini version of, uh, of, uh, you know... I'm Piper Perry, but it's 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 a reduced version. It's like a you know, a reduced version of the meme. See now when it's just us, you know what I mean? You guys are reversing a hell of a lot. Big Show ain't reverse shit, brother. Oh, don't do this to me. I, I, it said reverse, so I think I'm gonna reverse it. I, it literally said reverse. Like you guys saw it. The screen literally said reverse because I did reverse whatever it happened. But then I guess it got overridden. Um, there you go. All right, Mick, come on. Yeah, let's get him. 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 Oh, no, but he gets... So, he got my reversal, pretty much. The fuck are you doing? The fuck are you... The fuck? The fuck? Why are you pinning me off that, you fucking bitch, man? Holy fuck. Mick. Mick, you're a fuckhead. You're a fuckhead. Mick, you're a fuckhead. Yeah, yeah, you do that, right? You do that, and I'm a pin Mick. No, 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 no. Is it gonna fail? I want to pin Mick. I want to pin Mick. I'm pinning Mick. My pin. Because <laughs> I don't know if it'll fail me if I don't. Oh my fucking goodness. Yeah, do something to him, Rock. Do something to him, Rock. Are oh, you waiting for me? Yeah, let's double team him, Rock. Let's double team him, Rock. Fuck his shit, brother. All right, let's see if it fails us or not. I don't know. Oh, it counts. It counts. There you go. Fuck you. Oh, let's get a signature on so we have three finishers for whatever the final stage is. He reversed it. Of course he did. At least you don't lose your signature to them when you use it, right? So at least there's that. I was trying to use my signature there, so if he reversed that, then fuck me. Yep, he reversed it. I was using my signature, but the game fucking... Oh, and now he has a signature and a finisher. Cool, I'm about to lose, and I'm going to have to restart for the third fucking time today. I had to restart Undertaker and Kane. I had to restart all of this shit, and it's fucking pissing me off, my guy. 
Um, you know what I'm saying? Fuck your head, brother. There we go. Come on, man. Let me uh, let me just try and spam some fucking taunts right here just to get my uh, my shit up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Zug it. And then another suck it right there. Just grappling near the steps. Okay. That's close enough, I guess. Ooh. Did, a lot of people thought that this should have just been the match, right? It should have just been Rock and, uh, and Triple H at Mania. Because apparently they ended up doing it at Backlash anyways. Or whatever the next pay-per-view was back then. I think it was Backlash still. Oh, what the fuck? That would have been a painful spot for Rock. Those steps landing on you? Holy fuck. He's going nuts with that chair. Let's go. It's down to the Rock. Let's go. For the WWE Championship. Oh, I think the Rock can feel it slipping away. He can feel it slipping away because I'm about to retain as Triple H. Uh, grapple the Rock critical near announce table. Okay. Ooh. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, he's moderate right now, though, so it doesn't really matter. What is Vinny Mac doing out here? Did Vinny Mac just have, like... Like, obviously, it's his it's his show, but, like... Get out of here, man. You bitch. There you go. Come on, man. I'm going to try and punch through. I'm going to try and... Oh, there you go. Oh, that's not good. That is, though. There we go. And I'm... There you go. I'm not doing anything with that exposed turnbuckle, my guy. There you go. Boom. There it is. All right. Now I'll grapple him unless he reverses, which he might. He did not. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see what we can do here, man. Let's do it. Come on. Just trying to supla him. Yeah. That makes sense. Rock bottom. Oh, just a reverse into his own supla. Ooh. That would hurt Rock a hell of a lot. I think that might hurt Rock more than... Triple H, because Rock's back is going across the edge of the table. You know what I mean? Triple H is going flat across the table, so it's going to hurt both, but I feel like, honestly, it might hurt The Rock a little bit more, because he's going across the edge of the table. You know, and your back, your, your back's fucked when you do that, you know what I'm saying? Is that Steph? Where's Linda at, though? Did they, did they put Linda into the game? Did they put Linda into the game? I, okay, I was trying to Irish whip you. Fuck me. Rock, I need you to chill. 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 All right, cool. Cool, man. Cool, man. Oh, you're a bitch. You're a bitch. You're, you're, just, you're just a bitch. You're just a no good fucking... You trying to steal my finish? You trying to steal my finish? I definitely reversed it. Excuse me. Brother, I reversed that. I reversed that. Oh, that's it's quick, man. Why is it always quick when you fucking... Oh, this is supposed to happen, I guess? This is just an extra little meme? Or is it just going to be a cutscene finish? That, that would bail me out right now because he's beating my ass. Oh, swerve. Damn, was there ever a clean finish in the ass? Was there ever? Oh my goodness. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a be a little cheeky with it and I'm gonna hit him with my own fucking shit right here. No, I'm not because he reversed that. Yeah, of course he did. Of course he did. Of course he did. You know what I mean? There we go. I'm gonna get this one though. <laughs> there you go, you fucking bitch. I should have just pinned him after the chair shot and left it at that. There you go. There you go. All right. Was there ever a clean finish in the Attitude Era? That is the question. <laughs> Holy. Um, I guess Undertaker and Kane was Attitude Era, so it counts. Rock's upset. -y. And he gets his heat back. This, honestly, man, this is like... This is the shit you, you'd see on, like, a B pay-per-view or, or, like, a weekly TV. You know what I mean? The kind of finish. The person wins with interference, and then the other person gets their heat back kind of thing. Um, I, f I don't feel like that's a Mania main event. You know what I mean? Again, Attitude Arrow was different, so more things, like, were able to slide. 
But I just think, like, this much interference in a Mania main event for the WWF Championship, your main title, it's just, like, it's, it's overbooked, you know what I mean? Maybe there were complaints even then about this finish, but, I mean, you know, um... I just think that your Mania main event should probably be clean or relatively clean. Um, I think most matches on Mania should be relatively clean. Um, but I don't know. Uh, maybe that's just me. Maybe that's just me. But for now, we uh, that's all we're going to do for now. We finish off with WrestleMania 2000 or 16, whichever you want to call it. For now, uh, next time we will go ahead and uh, finish off the Attitude Era with WrestleMania X7 and then get started into the Ruthless Aggression Era, which is a fairly big portion. And then we got Universe Era, which is disgusting, um, except for 26 was pretty good. 27 was trash. 25 was okay. 28 was, uh, wait, 28 was a good Mania, wasn't it? Uh, and then 29 was just kind of okay, wasn't it? Yeah. No, not uh, not too great over there, but uh, that's for the future. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If this is the first video that you're watching from the series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video, as well as a link to my SmackDown Raw 2006 GM mode series if you want to check that out. Um, if you'd like to support me in the channel, you can do so over at Patreon. First link in the description. If not, that's a okay. Uh, if you'd like to follow me on Twitter, you can do so. At link in the description. Uh, please sponsor me, PC, of course. Be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because YouTube likes to zuck your boy and not put my videos in your sub boxes. So by pressing that nice old bell icon, you will get a push notification anytime I do upload and you'll never have to miss it. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed the videos, please leave a like, subscribe, share it to all your friends, comment down below, all that good shit, and I'll see you guys next time.